Time management is one of the most underrated things you can do as a developer. Especially in school, we were given a structured day each and every day for like 12 years. You know, period A, we would have math, period two, we would have English, period three, we'd have gym. However, once we graduate university and school, we're not given a structure or a way to manage our time. We're kind of just thrown into the fire and told to just enter life without any tools to face the day-to-day -day stuff. Like we literally went from an organized militant type schedule five days a week to once we graduate, nothing at all, just absolute chaos. However, since graduating university with a degree in law, I've been able to grow my social media following to almost 30K followers. I've also been able to teach myself code and build a couple of software as a service businesses that are making me some money. And this is all because I know how to spend my time and manage my time. And so what I'll do in this video is show you three things that I'm doing to manage my time to do all these things from YouTube to managing a relationship to building software as a service products, as well as learning new things in programming. And trust me, this is really easy. It's not even that difficult. You just have to understand a couple of things. And like, this is what your life is going to be like once you implement this. Okay. Imagine you're over here and let's do something like this. This is you and imagine you are in a river, right? You know, you're going on a stream and you're trying to swim. What it feels like with bad time management is very hard. So you're sweating right now, okay? You're like literally sweating because what it feels like under, under bad time management is that you are swimming upstream. The river is coming down like this and you are trying to go down like this. I'm sorry for the bad diagram, but you're gonna understand this in a second. However, once you're able to manage your time correctly, it is as if you are swimming down the current. You know, it's much easier to swim down the current than up the current because you're not resisted by all that water. And so that is what good time management will do. You are literally gonna start swimming down the stream rather than fighting for your life swimming up the stream. And I think that's what most people deal with and why most people fail at the things they do. But anyways, enough with the drawings and the <laughs> these sad drawings. The first thing I do to manage all these things and my time is to have a weekly and daily tasks list. And I freaking love this saying, but a person with a bad plan is better off than a person with no plan at all because the first guy will actually have some direction and is able to learn from their mistakes compared to the guy with no direction who cannot learn from their mistakes because they do not know where they wanna go. And how I've come to say this is because I used to be that second person. I used to go into my days of programming, of doing YouTube of all these things without an actual game plan or knowing what I want to do. And I swear to you, as soon as I began having a daily task list of what I wanted to do, as well as a weekly goals list of what I wanted to achieve, I knew exactly what I needed to do and the steps that I needed to take to reach that goal. And so I don't know what's on my notion today, but I use personally, I use notion for all my tasks things. So if you can go to tasks over here, you can see if I go to my daily tasks every single day, okay, for the past 265 days, I've been doing this almost a year, actually, it's crazy. Basically, every day, I would just go over here, put in the date. So let's say it's tomorrow, the 13th, this is I do this on the night before. And then in here, I kind of just organize what I need to do for the day. So for tomorrow, um, I actually need to code for four hours on a feature and specifically I need to work on, let's see, a search functionality on my application. I still have to do that as well as uh, record a video on React tables. So I'm actually going to separate this like this, something like video on React tables. And in addition, I can put in a focus project, other tasks, as well as an anti-focus, like what I should stay away from. But these are not as important as just the priority tasks that I have to do. In addition, if I go to my life management over here, every single week, I actually missed last week's, but it's fine. Um, I try to do a weekly reflection on how my week went and what my goals are for the next week. So over here, you can see that I, I'm looking at how my previous week went, what I can improve on, what my goals are, I, essentially just a bigger version of the mini uh, daily tasks. And look, as you can see, it's pretty hard not to feel unorganized and not get stuff done once you're able to manage your time this way and do things in a more organized way. You literally know what to do. And I think that's the biggest and best selling point when it comes to doing these daily tasks and writing down your weekly tasks. And so your actionable step for this one, and we're doing actionable steps because you need actionable steps to actually do shit. And I feel like I haven't done that enough 
uh, lately. So an actionable step for you who, is, who are actually serious about this and want to improve as a developer is to have a daily tasks list as well as a weekly tasks list of the important things that you want to do. If it's to be a YouTuber, maybe your daily tasks should be to record five videos this week. Or if, you're, if your goal is just to be a programmer and want to build applications or get a job, maybe your goal is to learn on free code camp or build your projects for 12 hours this week. I don't know the exact number. So here I'm going to say actionable steps like this. And we're going to say build list every day. And generally, it could just be one or two things. Like we often think that to be great, we have to be good at a bunch of things. But if you th really think about it, soccer players are like, let's say Messi, right? He's like an extreme example, but it's fine. He's not good at ping pong. I mean, I, I don't think so, but maybe he is. But generally, right, if you think about it, Messi would probably not be good at ping pong. Why? Because he's a soccer player. Mike Tyson is probably not good at singing. Why? Because he's more focused on boxing. So as a developer, as an entrepreneur, as a YouTuber, if you want to be one, stick to one or two things or goals and do the things to work towards those goals. I right now am trying to be a better programmer and I am doing the actions to do that. And it's only a couple of things. For example, set it down in code, learn as much as possible and learn new things. Those are generally the things I need to do to do that. And it's literally impossible not to improve and to manage my time correctly because I have such little to do. And that actually leads us to the second aspect of how I am managing my time and how I manage to do all these things. And it is that I have dedicated hours that I work on every day. So here's what I mean by this. Because I have my weekly and daily tasks, I have my days set for the most part, but I actually have to do the work. And so what I do is every day I give myself a time slot of when I'm gonna work. So right now it is 9.45 a.m. and I am in my dedicated hours slot. And today's dedicated hour slot is from nine to around maybe 12 or one. It's not really like a set time, but it's like a general amount of hours that I wanna work. And in these dedicated hours, I am totally undistracted on what I am doing. So for example, I am totally removing my phone and the only thing I am focused on is not my family, it's not my friends if I had any, it is not the soccer or football game that is on TV. It is sitting down, being in the present moment and doing the work in front of me. So right now I'm recording, this is what I am dedicated to right now. This is my dedicated hour session and it's all I'm doing. And so an actionable step for you to do is pick a dedicated hours slot. And look, I know it may be a little bit difficult for you to grasp this or maybe it, it feels like it's too much, but I promise you managing things and doing a lot of things simply comes down to doing less and focusing on the right things. I spent like five hours on my phone yesterday, which we're actually gonna get into the third thing. I could have spent that five hours on more productive things and I, could, I can't complain that things aren't going my way because I literally spent five hours. I could have spent that five hours coding, recording, writing, scripting things. Like I could have used that into other aspects. And so if you're still interested in this video, if you're still watching, once you have a dedicated hours time slot, do the work. It doesn't even have to be good work. It could be bad work. But by finding your daily tasks and knowing what you need to do to reach your goals and giving yourself dedicated hours where you're totally focused on the work at hand, I think it's impossible not to do what you want to do because you have so much free time. And we can perfectly actually segue into the third aspect of how I tend to manage to do all these things. And it is to remove my phone and other distractions. And before you leave, because I'm talking about these sort of things, I know this is really like cringe self-improvement type of advice. But let me tell you this, okay? How many hours do you think the average person spends on their phone per day. One hour, two hour, three hours, four hours. No, how about four and a half freaking hours per day? The average human being spends four and a half hours. And to put that into perspective, that's nearly three months a year on their phone, basically time wasted on their phone. And look, if you want to be a part of the Nizzy community, which I think I'm going to name where the Nizzy's, um, <laughs> I don't know. I literally don't know, but I'm just going to call it that for now. You need to understand that we cannot be spending time on these silly things. I'm telling you, I spent four, almost five hours on YouTube shorts and Instagram reels yesterday. And I felt like crap firstly. And secondly, that was again, time that I could have put into other things. And imagine 
imagine what you could do with almost five hours extra in your day. Imagine you went from a regular day and added five hours or an extra three months onto your year. That's basically what you're doing if you're removing phones and distractions. And so look, if you want to get back the three months, I'm not saying to be perfect because I'm not perfect. I just said that yesterday I was spending time on my phone, but at least try to limit how much you're doing. Be conscious of what you're spending your time on. It could be any distractions, frankly. It could be other people. It could be, again, your phone. It, it could be whatever, sports. But once you're able to do this, you have a perfect recipe for doing whatever you want. I'm telling you, I am the last person to be talking about this if you looked at me three or four years ago. I could not focus. I could not do any work. I had no goals. And look, I know this sounds crazy because, you know, you're saying, how's it three months since are? But really do the math. It is, it is like that. And as soon as you limit your phone and your distractions, and you're able to just do the work in front of you because you have dedicated hours and daily tasks, you give yourself the perfect recipe for doing and achieving whatever you want in life. It's literally not about talent. It's literally, I'm telling you, I'm saying this again, because it is literally not about talent. It is about how much work you're putting in. Talent can only take you so far. I promise you, once you implement all of these three things, I think you give yourself the perfect setup for achieving whatever you want to do. No one does this. No one freaking does this. I don't know a single person that does this. And I, I just think it's such a cheat code for us developers or for those of us that want to build shit like businesses and stuff like that. Like, look at me, I'm not talented. I'm literally not talented. I just work hard and I, I dedicate some time every day. That's, that's literally it. I'm actually not smart at all. And by the way, if you haven't already, please like and subscribe. It would really go a long way. If you want to join the Discord server of the Nizzy group, then I'll leave that down below. You know, if you want to learn coding, get better at code. And if you like this video, you will love this video on five lessons from my first SaaS. Happy coding, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.